Hello Pleasure Maniacs, welcome to the sequel of the haul that we did on our main channel, Mario Plush Network. So, if you haven't checked that haul video out, go check it out, because we had some amazing figures that we got from, like, Target and stuff, from, like, the malls that we went to, of course. So we got a lot of stuff, but we also got some Kirby stuff as well, that we are also gonna show on this haul today, of course, because the whole video is Kirby themed, so... The first thing we got is that when we went to Target, we saw two Kirby plushes and we scooped them up right away because we did not have them yet and we are also working on growing a Kirby collection. So we spotted this guy out, which is Mirror Kirby. He was a part of the haul, so you can see the detail on him, like the jewel here and like the different colors. It's very soft. He, again, the, ver the power-up variants of Kirby are a little smaller than the plain all-star one for some reason and here's his wand because of course as the tag it says mirror kirby small version there is no big version of uh, anybody besides uh, kirby the main kirby and the waddle dee for some reason kind of weird that they decide to make a bigger upscaled waddle dee but that's not really the point here so you can see a quick overview of the tag all-star collection the kirby logo with the background of all the foods to level up of course he's number 21 in the all-star collection you can see his tush tag, made in China. So here's the back of it, a little buddy, Kirby, Mir, Kirby Small. And then the inside is actually English, made in China again. So the tags are a little updated, because most of the writing is English. But when I used to get plushes a few years ago at Target, or, or like any other store in general of Kirby, the whole, the whole tag was in um, Japanese. So I'm surprised that they actually translated all this to English in the recent years. So which is also a very, very good thing. Sorry if you hear some wind in the background and it's a little windy in this setting. So um, here's one quick overview of him again. He has the beans in the feet, the nice, really pretty pink color on him. And he actually has a smile on him, not an open mouth smile, the blush and everything's properly stitched in. Looks really nice on him. So we'll set him right there. And then now the next one that we spotted out at um, the same store was Cutter Kirby. Although we do have a Cutter Kirby, it's an old official one from like 2012 or 2009 or something. I, I forgot the year because for some reason on the tush tag of the Kirbys, they never say the year of them when they were manufactured, which is kind of weird. But the Mario All-Star ones do, so some of these guys actually do too, but not all of them, which is kind of strange. But anyway, yeah, we finally got the updated all-star version of Cutter Kirby. You can see that his face is nice and broader, the same thing. This time his mouth is kind of open where you can see the tongue and the inside of the mar maroon mouth. And then you can see how he has a mad face there. So he looks very angry because when he gets his power up, like he's angry because he like throws the cutter at everybody. So this is actually a good power up in games in general. This is one of my favorites because it gets the job done. It can like kill like three enemies at once because of like how far it goes. It's basically like a boomerang, but it's really a blade. It's not like a boomerang, but it's kind of like a boomerang, but like a blade. So again, beans in the feet. And you can see the cutter here, the met what's supposed to be the metal here. And then the top of the cutter part, and you can see the wings on him. Not sure why Cutter Kirby has wings on the hat. I, I do not actually know why, but I'm assuming because this thing kind of flies in the air, so maybe that's why. And of course, he has a classic toad or like classic Nintendo eyes, just the oval black with the circle white pupils. Again, this is properly embroidered. You can see his hanger tag and everything. So same tag, number 22 in the All-Star Collection. So I got number 22 and 21. So I'm wondering, the next Kirby Plus that I'm gonna be showing, I wonder if that one's number 23 or number 20 to kind of make the set even. So the next plush, a Kirby plush that we have right here is Spider Kirby. He is also a good power-up, one of my favorites as well in the Kirby franchise. So you can see right here off the bat that he has the mad eyes, but he's also smiling. So he's actually like kind of mad, but like happy at the same time, which I actually kind of like this expression on him. And one thing to point out, if you haven't noticed, some of them like are in a pose where this foot's back here and the ones, this one's sticking out to like give him like a pose like he's kind of like leaning over which I really like that detail on him so again the nice pink color really properly stitched the detail on him is great the beans and the feet of course and this time again he has a smile so two out of the three Kirby plushes have a smile while well, that one like has his mouth open a little bit 
are kind of like in a circle shape that you can't really see from far away here. So you can see the hat over here, which is also another amazing detail. The embroidering in this is really, really amazing. It makes it look like it's kind of like a spider web here. This is like a really good, like, kind of Halloween themed one because there's lots of spiders and like Halloween stuff and props, of course. So this one would make a great episode for a, um, for like a Halloween special, maybe. We'll probably do one because in the recent years of like MPN, we've been making a lot of holiday themed specials and we quite enjoy them. So we're probably going to make a lot of holiday specials for the Kirby franchise. So stay tuned for those. And here is the, like, legs of the, um legs of the spider kirby so you can see that the blue stripe the light blue stripe i like the stripe pattern on it again it's like really good the embroidering is really nice and you can see what appears to be like the eyes i'm assuming i haven't like really paid attention in recent years but i assume that these are the eyes this is like some weird cardboard material but yeah the felt on it's actually kind of like really smooth and silky and then this is like Thick, thick felt, black felt. This is felt material while the yellow is like some smooth silk that's wrapped inside of cardboard. Which is a great detail that they made with this one. So again, the back of the hat. So this is basically supposed to be a spider that I saw him, which I really like. So let's see. Number 32. So there's actually a few... There's actually 10 more plushes that lead up to this one. So we have a 10 number 10 gap between them or however you like say it of course so there's 10 plushes that came out after these guys and then the 32nd plush was this guy which was a really good choice beans in the feet again the back of the tag same thing pretty much so um that's pretty much without that's pretty much done with that one so now we have actually one of our first kirby figures we got it at Barnes and Noble Bookseller, so if you're into collecting like figures of like Nintendo stuff, great place to check out for like the Kirby stuff because they have a lot of Kirby stuff. So now let's show it off. So this is a Kirby figure. You can't really see what it is because it's basically in Japanese. So it kind of makes it look like um I got it from like an import shop or something, or like from Japan, but I didn't. I got it at Barnes and Noble. So nothing's really translated in here, so you can't really see where everything else is. So it appears to be that the box inside is not fully translated to English. Most of this is um, Japanese. So I already know the names of all of them, of course. So this is basically like a mystery pack. So you'll get one of the five here shown. So Kirby, Waddle D, King DD, Meta Knight, and um and bandana waddle d or bandana d so you can see the box is pretty nice i like the setting and i already opened this earlier but um i put it back in so you guys can see what it like the box is like so everything so i did end up getting lucky enough to get the one that i wanted the most and again i just picked a random one and it was king ddd so our first ever King DDD figure, which is really nice. The detail on him is really nice. Again, he's in a sitting posture. The eye detail on him is like from the modern games, mostly from Super Smash Bros, which I like that design too. It's one of my favorite King DDD designs, besides the Kirby right back at you design of him and the old official plush of him and the all-star design of him, of course. So you can see the detail, the paint is really, really nice. Everything's like so symmetrical and even, like there's no brush marks or anything. So overall, this is a really, really good figure. I really love it and I'm glad that I just randomly picked this one. I was expecting it to be like a Waddle Dee or something like shown here, but nope, out of all the ones, and I wanted this one the most. So funny enough, I got King DDD out of my first one. So again, I didn't like peek through or like anything. I actually just grabbed a random box and then bought it. And then when I opened it, it was actually King DDD, which is fairly nice. So again, here's one overlook of him. You can see that there is plastic wrapper wrapping in the box, not getting into that, of course. And then it has like a little brochure kind of of like the other plushes you can get. So here's all of them. Again, DDD, Waddle D, Kirby. Bandana D and Meta Knight, which is really cool. I'll probably try and get the rest of them because there's only four left. But if I get duplicates, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. So here's just the rest of this. That's not really important. So here is a full haul that I got today. I know it's not as much as Mr. McCormick, but I also plan on getting like 
There are some of the other Super Mario movie figures, like the Shy Guy and whatnot. So I'm also very excited if I get them. We might do a review on them on the main channel. So make sure to check out the main haul that we did on our channel, showcasing all the Mario stuff we got. And we hope you enjoyed this haul, showcasing all the Kirby stuff we got. So again, thank you so much for watching this all oh, movie pleasure maniacs. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope to bring you more Kirby content and Mario content on another channel in the upcoming days. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this unboxing. Or not really unboxing, but the review of what we got from the haul. So thank you so much. Bye bye. <laughs>